on to Titan Food. Today we're going to show uh, you how to make a thermos. So a thermos, this is not how to make a water bottle. Because a water bottle is not a thermos. It, has, it doesn't block heat. A thermos, actually, this is how normal thermos would look like. It, did blo it actually blocks heat. I mean, so it has a reflective auto cover to reflect the radiation. And also, it blocks any type of conduction or convection. No, uh, convection that happens. So it's great for blocking heat. So my water bottle would not block heat. Well, eventually, the, the, to learn about these three types of heat pressures, go on the annotation or the suggested. I, 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 I suggested that will appear virtually in, in right now. Which, so, so if you click on it, you will learn like all the three types of, uh, of heat transfer. If you want, uh, make sure you watch the video before because you're going to use the terms in the whole video. And they're quite important. You have to watch it. Uh, after which you watch the video and which you have gain some knowledge, but well, let's talk about Average Joe, how he uses thermos. Average Joe will use his thermos to keep his tea or, or coffee warm. That is a normal use, especially if, uh, I mean, so you, well, you never knew that here's a, a life pack. Put your cool water in the thermos on a hot day. It will stay cool. The main reason why is that thermos is meant to block heat, um, heat and also uh, any type of heat transfer possible. So for thermos to be a thermos, it needs to block any heat type of heat transfer, all types of heat transfer. I think it will. I mean, say if we put ice cube, it's not going to be perfect. Some heat will come in. That's normal. That's supposed to happen. And well, eventually, it's supposed to block most of it. So let's first make that out of the core. So I'm kind of using a, an insulator. That you can use aluminum, eventually independent, eventually depending on it, but it's not touching anything. But eventually. You, for the outer core, you need something. Which, so, for the, for the outer core, you should use an insulator. Or, you can lay out the insulator with duct tape or some reflective material after that. So, in this case, I'm using cardboard. An insulator would block any type of heat transfer. And a conductor would not do that. That's aluminum. That's a very good conductor. But, make sure you put a bottle inside. So, around your disposable water bottle, the main reason you be, I'm using disposable, well, this is just experiment. Just buy a thermos from the store, I've become a doing that. But eventually, yeah, but eventually for this experiment, you want to do, do the best you can. Eventually. So, uh, well, you have to put layers of cardboard around the water bottle. The main reason is to block radiation, conduction, and convection. Why you have to block these? Eventually, uh, things eventually, and the main reason is that. The layers will block it. Actually, uh, so so if you put those layers, it will block it much more well. Also, make sure you seal everything completely. Make sure you don't uh, leave holes or anything else. That is important. So so make sure just we put layers and then well 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 eventually we'll see what we do next. So in this case, the guy has some uh, the more scotch duct tape. So we can put some duct tape around the bottle just to see. Just to seal the rest of it, especially to not let any heat above it. Which I, I mix it, love it. But I actually seal like the outer core. So after that, I put duct tape. Eventually, uh, it uh, it makes it reflective. It will be it's much more preferred for the heat test where we're going to use the heat lamp. Also, you need to, to eventually reflect the light. Also, uh, you need to have a good seal of the cap. That's where everything happens. So eventually. Surely, you need a good seal. Make sure there's no holes because that's not a thermos. You need to make sure it's sealed. So do, do, do not leave holes. Just put I'm mean, as duct tape as possible. Crazy. Do, do, do put duct tape like crazy. So now, eventually, for the body, that's also very important. Eventually, we're going to use it for normal use. Um, in this case, this is a huge thermos, but I actually did make a thermos before. So it was this much huge because I really wanted to add these features. So the first thing is to add cardboard for the uh, body, and then for the best experience, I um, put some duct tape. But if you just were doing a heat test on the top, that's not exactly enough for a perfect thermos. You need to actually put uh, eventually some heat, some that heat, uh, some some duct tape around it. Now it's time for a test. Eventually for the test, we need we need this eventually for for testing radiation. I would come in and eventually to, to a pot on the top. You would get buy a heat lamp from the store and eventually just you know, put the heat lamp and turn on. Eventually it's using incandescent light to heat it up. So eventually it's very quite old. But 
Anyway, be before that, you need an ice cube, which you can get from the refrigerator. And make sure, make sure you see, put it in a little Ziploc bag, and then just seal it very well, as well as possible. Put the bag inside the thermos. So in this case, I'm using a little bit smaller thermos, just like <laughs> explanation. But make sure you, after that, make it, put the heat lamp and seal it. I also seal the thermos very well, that's important. Then put the heat lamp, turn on the heat lamp, and wait. Like for 30 minutes, especially with 10 minutes interval. Why? You can see, but you can you have to observe how much water came out, and then you will find out that more water came out than usual. But eventually, after finishing it, put the water water in a, a graduate cylinder and calculate how much water came. Yeah, it does to make four milliliters. Just update your thermos, fix it a little bit. If it's three, it's uh, okay and two. This depends on the size. You have to make it higher if you have a huge thermos. Also, you can test it with hot water too, but you should just leave it in the air. Oh, and air in cool temperatures, just turn on the air conditioner. Uh, it's winter right now, but which, anyway, and eventually just uh, just make it as cold. Uh, just, just leave it outside with hot water. It would, it's about it, normally it would cool a lot, uh, but it was good, it would not. So check out my, my Twitter account at Christian and subscribe to my channel and check out my last video. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.